Hey everybody, it's the interview queen, Alicia Toot here, and I'm very excited to be catching up with Flip Gordon. Hello. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for joining me. The last time I had you on my site was I think when Ring of Honor came through like two years ago in Toronto. So it has been a long and time. I didn't even wrestle on that show. I had flight right. trouble. So I made it like right as the main event went on and I didn't even get a performance. So literally, I came to Canada just to interview with you. <laughs> well, I'm glad to have you back on. I mean, obviously 2019 is coming to a close. You've officially had your final match. So is the plan just to relax and finally take it easy for once? Yeah, I mean, I got about a month off to enjoy the holidays. Um, I'm procrastinating as usual. Uh, it's the day before uh, Christmas Eve, and I'm just now starting my shopping. No, just you're now starting my holiday shopping. You're doomed, man. How are you going to the malls? Like, what? I know. Plan? I'm like, I'm like, oh crap! I got so much to do today. My list is so long. I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna have enough time. But I like the pressure. I like, you know, having to rush around. I guess. It's going to be a mission, like a full on. You're going to have to tweet about it so I know if this was, you know, mission possible or impossible. I'm wishing you the best. I've actually been off Twitter for a little bit and it's been it's been amazing because it's been so stress free. It's been awesome. Yeah, I can understand why you would do that. Sometimes just the whether it's the pressure to tweet or just the people that pounce on stuff, it's just unnecessary. It's I can imagine taking a break is pretty nice. I've honestly been trying to take a little bit step back from social media as a whole, but Twitter mainly. Twitter's just like, it's just so negative lately, and I just, yeah. I don't want to be a part of it right now. I'm trying to, good vibes, you know, like your poster behind you. I'm trying to, you know, be, stay peachy, so. Right, right. That one's like kind of in it. <laughs> yeah, a little cheap plug. <laughs> now, I know that you actually just finished a workout, and you often post about these insane workouts that uh, you do. do. All the time, like it, it's <laughs> frequent, and of course, it goes hand in hand with wrestling. Uh, but I was curious: do you listen to music while you work out, or are you more a podcast guy or silence? I actually hate podcasts. I'm not a podcast listener. I very oh. rarely listen to any podcasts. Uh, I'm a music guy, um, or I watch like wrestling, or I'll hear like wrestling. I won't watch it, but I'll hear like the commentary, hear the sounds, and then I'll go back and like rewatch like what got reactions and stuff. So I try to multitask, but. Uh, working out is actually, I used to hate working out, but now I'm addicted to it. And I think it really, what really helped me uh, through these injuries was being able to go to the gym as much as I was able to and just work on myself and being able to come back from injury stronger. I mean, that must have fueled you because you know the reason you're in there. It's only to be able to better yourself, better your body, and finally that end goal of returning into the ring. So, oh, absolutely. So I love it now. Like, I, if I go like, right. a day without it, I'm like getting the itch. I'm like, should I go today? It's, it's my day off, but. <laughs> I still want to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I know I um, originally mentioned music and you mentioned a lot of the time it's podcast or sorry, not podcast, a wrestling you're listening to, but if you could have any band write some entrance music for you, who would that be? Oh gosh, that's tough. Um, I'd have to say Lil Flip because okay. um, everybody has always told me I should use his song game over and I used it when I first started wrestling, and then obviously for copyright reasons, I wasn't able to use it when I debuted for Ring of Honor, so I had a custom sure. song made. Um, but I was able to meet Lil Flip the first time I went to Texas with Ring of Honor, <laughs> and so I'd love for him to be able to make me a song someday. I think that'd be really cool. That'd be super cool and super yeah. fitting. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, since we're talking the word flip, the hashtag holy flip, every time I see you use it, it just cracks me up. Like, it's this cheeky little thing. It's perfect for your style of wrestling, obviously the name. Um, so did that come from somewhere? Did you just think, this is clever, let's start using it? A fan came up with it, actually, I believe. Okay. Uh, Chaotic Wrestling, I think, was the first time I saw it. And I was like, yo, that's clever. So I threw it on a t-shirt, and it did well. And right. I go back to it every now and then. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, obviously, just speaking to flips, what runs through your mind before you actually do something fairly crazy in the ranks. I've seen you seen you do some things where I'm just like, holy flip, like, how's this going to go? I and try not to think it every about it, to be honest. And when I flip, okay. I close my eyes because I get dizzy, so I don't want to get dizzy. Really? Yeah. That's never I've, something. I've I've I always done. have. And I, there's, like, so many pictures where if you look, I'm, like, my eyes are closed or if you slow it down, like, videos, you can see me close my eyes as I'm rotating. Huh. <laughs> Now, whenever I'm watching like your match or something randomly comes up, I'm just gonna I'm gonna focus on that now and be like, hey, a little tidbit yeah. there. But I, if I think about it too long, I'll psych myself out. So I try not to think about it. I just try to go. Okay, I mean that makes sense, right? Just yeah. to kind of like focus and keep keep those good vibes in the back of your mind, right? Exactly, exactly. 
<laughs> if you're yeah, confident, I'm... you just got to commit, you know? When you of second course. guess, that's when accidents happen. Right. Um, now, one thing I have to bring up, because I know people mention it often, even to this day, is the uh -oh, whole milk scares. thing. Uh -oh. It's the whole milk first thing, because I remember when I first heard about it, I was like, no, this is this is a joke, isn't it? And I know people have asked you about it in interviews and everything, and it's true. So I was curious, is there anything else kind of quirky that you do that's kind of similar in the same vein? Um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a really weird picky eater um i guess this this might be different uh do you know this what swiss rolls are no okay well that's like a like a chocolate like roll with like cream filling okay. and i peel like the outer chocolate edge out first before i eat those and everybody really? thinks that's the weirdest thing they're like what are you doing not as weird as milk first but, um, but milk first like, <laughs> how do you start your second bowl with milk already in the bowl and oh, like shit. i don't that's like a, soggy that's i don't smart. like soggy cereal and I also like eating lots of bowls of cereal. So I'll pour the milk in first, grab my bowl, the spoon, you know what I mean? Grab the cereal, walk to the other room. I put the milk back in the fridge so it doesn't get cold or warm. And then yeah. I go eat and just pour until the milk's all gone. I mean, now that I've heard the logic behind it, it kind of makes a bit of sense. And then you don't have any soggy cereals. I mean, right. People can laugh like all they want, but that shit makes sense. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to vouch for you on this one. It it makes sense. It makes sense. But people won't people won't go with it because it's not their typical way. It's not how right. they were thought, so it's wrong. Ah. There's more than one way to eat cereal, guys. And actually the bowl comes first. Right. <laughs> well, I know you have a busy Me day. Slapper. Right. Um, you have to get some shopping done. So I just want to say thank you so very much for catching up with me and for hanging out today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. It's always nice talking to you and catching up. Absolutely. Well, I wish you the best of luck wherever you end up going to uh, nail this shopping down. Enjoy your holidays and thank you. Appreciate it. Happy holidays. And we'll talk to you soon. Uh Bye.